Hey, Eddie. Didn't you already shave today? Yep, now I'm just getting rid of this five o'clock shadow. Do you do that every hour? <laughs> yeah, every hour. Cool. No wonder you spend so much time in front of the mirror. Hey, you know what, Ann? A heavy beard is just part of being a man. There's a lot of other steps along the way, though. <laughs> like what? Well, um, okay. You know how you don't think Baywatch is action-packed enough? A bunch of girls in orange bathing suits doing nothing. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, soon you're gonna realize that those bathing suits are, uh, more action-packed than anything on TV, Andy. I don't see it. 500 third world nations can't be wrong. <laughs> in the engine, it's gonna pull you through the manifold and shoot you out the exhaust. You know, you don't see me making jokes about that, uh, Johnny Mop you call hair, do you? <laughs> oh, whoops, I guess you do. <laughs> uh, I haven't seen that one before. Come here. Is it new? Yeah, my mom sent it to me for my birthday from California. Look, it's got its own little set of silver spark plugs on it. <laughs> When's your birthday? Today, but I never tell anybody. The only reason my mother remembers is because when I was born, I weighed 12 pounds. <laughs> wow, that's like giving birth to... Well, you're medallion. <laughs> so how old are you, Roman? Do I still have to buy your tickets to Demi Moore movies? Lou, please. Lately, no one's been buying tickets to Demi Moore movies. <laughs> I am 21, thank you. See? No, that's a big deal. No, no, it is not a big deal. You know what? I really don't like birthdays because I have always had the worst birthday parties, okay? I mean, either nobody shows up or uh, the pony has a bladder problem or the clown starts hitting on your mother, you know? <laughs> mother says yes. <laughs> Yeah, so let's just keep this between us, okay? okay? I hate cake, I hate presents. I cannot stand it when people sneak up on you and throw you one of those stupid surprise parties. Surprise! Wow! <laughs> I don't believe this. Happy, Happy birthday! birthday. Happy birthday. Guys. What are you... Wow! <laughs> Open my gift first. Andy, you got me... I, I can't believe this, man. What, what is this? Hey, silly snot. Yeah, I mean, you know, when you're in a hurry and you need a little snot. Mm. Yeah. That's great. You hold on to this for me, Andy? Sure. Thanks, buddy. Okay, me next, me next. I was going to get you a medallion, but I know your mom already got you one. So I got you something else, and I hope you like it. What are you doing, huh? You never get me anything. What is this? This pass admits one person to the South Philly Cineplex. You know, for when you go to the movies alone. Hey, with Andy's gift, that's not going to be a problem. <laughs> Hey, Joe, don't forget me, man. Matty. Joe. Hey, I like the rap job, bud. <laughs> Sorry, Matt. That's all right. Don't worry, man. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Joel. <laughs> yeah, they were out of Joe's. It's a surprisingly common name. I figured you could just scrape the L off, right? <laughs> it's great, Matt. It's great. It's... Thank you. Thank hey, you. Joe. Open mine. What is this? <laughs> Happy birthday. Something... Hey, thank you. Okay, see, after your big haircut, I went to the barber shop, I collected all your hair, and I turned it into a paperweight. <laughs> Hello, boys. <laughs> Lou, thank you. And listen, thanks, everybody. This, is, this means oh, a lot. Oh, so we're not done yet. <laughs> There's more. More? <laughs> now that you're 21, I'm going to do for you what my father did for me, and his father before him, and so on. Well, except for my great-grandfather, he, he couldn't make it. Everybody thought Babe Ruth was pointing at the fence. Grandpa never even saw the ball coming, who that babe could hit. <laughs> Ironic, really, the, the home run that saved that little boy's life cost my grandfather. Lloyd, 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 <laughs> did I miss the part where you told me what this was? Yes, Joe. I want to take you out for your first drink as a man. No, no, that is really not necessary. That's uh, my pleasure. <laughs> and I'm going to take you to my little home away from home. The Waffle Hut? <laughs> <laughs> you can't get a drink at the Waffle Hut. Unless, of course, you're talking about the champagne brunch. And, well, mother burned that bridge. <laughs> okay, I'll go. All right, listen, guys, thanks for Mike. 
Thank you for my surprise party. You know, it all started when Mother accidentally dropped her choppers in the batter. You ever seen a 60-year-old woman rolling a raspberry syrup singing at the top of her lungs? I'm going to you to say no. Okay, come on out. They're gone. Great job, guys. Really bad presents. <laughs> do you know how hard it was to find a Joe mug? All they had were Joes. Okay, okay, we got a lot of work to do. Lloyd's going to bring him back in an hour, and the guests are coming any time, so go. Okay. Hey, Lou. Is this really Joe's hair? No. My friend's a dog groomer, and yesterday was Afghan Day. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Well, here we are. Mickey's checkered flag, the symbolic end of every race. Everybody knows me here. I'm kind of like uh, Norm from Cheers. Watch this. Hello, gang. Norm! <laughs> Mickey, my good man. Serve me up a screwdriver and hold the vodka. <laughs> we call that an orange juice, Lloyd. An orange juice, Lloyd? Mickey, I'm, I'm honored that you'd name a drink after me. I'll just take a beer. I'm gonna need to see some ID. Yeah, well, we've known each other for 30 years, Mickey, but the law is the law. Not you, Lloyd. <laughs> there you go. I'm waiting to do this for a little while. <laughs> Joe Roman. Roman? You ain't Mike Roman's kid. Yeah. Do you know my dad? Hey, we all knew him. Hey, everybody, say hey to Mike Roman's kid. No! <laughs> hey, your dad was a hell of a man. Hey, it says here today's your 21st birthday. Yes, sir, and I will take that beer. <laughs> oh, no. We have a tradition here at Mickey's Checker Flag. See, a lot of the track rats bring their boys in here for their first drink. You know why? Why? Because it's so good, if you spill it on the bar, you want to finish it up in a couple of laps. <laughs> That's a uh, racetrack humor. Oh, hey, it's great. It's great. <laughs> good. I call it a 21. Because I'm 21, right? <laughs> yeah, sure. You're driving, right? Yes, I am. Good, because the real reason I call it a 21 is I use one part this and 20 parts of this. So, this is where you and my dad used to come, huh? Yep. A lot of memories here. Boy, if these walls could talk. Well, it wouldn't really be much of a bar then. It'd be the bowels of hell. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Yeah? What do you think? Well, you're right. This stuff tastes great. It tastes just like punch. <laughs> Thanks, Lloyd. To 21. Hey, 21. 21, coming up. <laughs> The J balloon. The J balloon. Okay. Don't panic. Don't panic. Andy? 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 Did you take the J balloon? I know you wanted to play with the helium balloons, but this is really no time for games. Leave the boy alone. Hey, Lou. Thanks for being such a good role model. Are you a good witch or a bad witch? I really don't think we have time for this. Give me that no slippers. How much of this stuff did you inhale? I didn't inhale any. I just like doing the voice. <laughs> Mom, I have a question. Might be some girls here tonight, so which shirt? This is the ugly shirt I own, Mom. That was a test. Why don't you just wear the nice shirt your grandma sent you? This is the one Grandma sent me. Uh, Matt, just put on a shirt. Matt, I like the one you have on. Andy, will you come help me with the dip? The dip will be fine as soon as he picks a shirt. <laughs> okay, Lou, what are we forgetting? Claire. Claire, will you calm down? Everything is going to be fine. Okay, I just don't want us to screw up. Well, what, what is the big deal? Well, let's just say that I owe Joe a good birthday. You don't think he's figured it out, do you? Oh, Claire, I don't want to scare you, but sometimes I still catch Joe and Lloyd playing Got Your Nose. <laughs> and more than once, the game has ended in tears. <laughs> You're right. Everything is going to be fine, I promise, all right? Just as long as Lloyd has him back by 8.30. <laughs> I can't believe it's 8.15. You know what I can't believe? I can't believe how lame that party was. I mean, I bet Lyle throws Eric a better party this year. Come on, Joe. Everybody tried to make it nice. In fact, why don't we go home and tell them? Yeah, well, at least it wasn't the worst birthday I've ever had. Remember when I came here to celebrate my 16th? Oh, yeah. Your father couldn't talk about anything else for weeks. We hadn't really gotten along that well since he married Claire, you know, and then I come here and I see him doing all the stuff with Matt and Andy that I thought he should be doing with me, you know? So I got a little jealous. I mean, you know. Yeah, I felt the exact same way when you were born. 
Let's take Joey to the park. Let's tuck Joey into bed. Oh, don't eat that applesauce, Lloyd. That's for Joey. I'm sorry, go on. It's just that I felt like a reject from, like, Dad's first experimental family or something, you know? So I act like a jerk. He tried to discipline me, but I wasn't going to have any of that. I mean, you know, he wasn't my father anymore. So that's why you left early. Yeah. You know, I... I always thought that I'd be able to see him again. He'd be able to talk about it. He died. You know, it's amazing. <laughs> Think you have all the time in the world, right? What am I doing? What am I talking about over here, right? Is it not my birthday it's or what? It's your birthday. You know what? I want to have a party. Let's have a party, yes. okay? Let's you know have what? A party. We're going to start off with a few more drinks, have another orange juice, Lloyd. Come no, on, no, Joe, Joe. Where are you going? No, wait. Mickey! Oh. Something's wrong. Matt, are you sure you invited all of Joe's friends? Yep, I snuck into his room one night and grabbed his address book. Matt, by any chance, does Joe have two address books? Yeah. See, I figured he missed the big one, so I grabbed the little one, copied all the numbers down, and put it right back. Hold a second. This little book. Black. Black? Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, my God, you don't think. Oh, yeah. Leave it to Joe Roman to have the last little black book in America. Hi. 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 <laughs> Matt, do you realize that all the girls that Joe's been dating are going to be in the same room at the same time? It was who he had in the book. I was told to get the book. I was following orders. Is this going to be a problem for Joe? Not after tonight. <laughs> Claire, I owe you an apology. There was something that could go wrong. <laughs> okay, nobody panic. This is a serious situation that calls for serious action. Claire, listen, it's not a tragedy yet because these girls haven't started talking. All we have to do is distract them until Joe shows up, which is going to be any minute, and I'm sure we'll get away with this just fine. Hello? I can barely hear you, Lloyd. Oh, what do you mean you're running late? Claire, I'll do everything I can, but it's... But it's complicated. And that's why I did it for me. Thank you. Yeah. Boy, don't you know Sinatra's kicking himself for not recording that one. <laughs> Joe, we really ought to be going. Going? What are you, nuts? <laughs> this is my party, man. You know what? This is the exact kind of party I've always wanted. <laughs> Mickey, my good mouse. Having a round of drinks on me for all my new best friends, huh? What do you think? Uh, Claire, you didn't take that ice cream cake out of the freezer yet, did you? <laughs> Come on, Joe. Look, look at that. It's 9 o'clock. It's time to go home. 9 o'clock, huh? Well, guess what? I got three more hours before my birthday's over. We're having a party here. <clears throat> hey, you know what? Wow, we're gonna hit the last call at the Waffle Hut. Really? No! <laughs> oh, yes! Who is the man? You the man, Joe. <laughs> you the That's man. right, I am the man. Give me a hug, big fella. Come on, here we go. Go, I've had enough. You know what? You're right, I have had enough. And you know why? Because I'm the man. <laughs> and you know what this man needs? This man needs a birthday kiss. So I'm just gonna go back here into my little black boogie, make a couple of call phones, find the lucky person who gets to give me that kiss, huh? Look, it's just a birthday kiss that you're No, 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 no. <laughs> you're not in the book. I'm not? I just don't get it. How does he do it? all these girls how does he do it i don't know i mean he, he's good looking and he does have some charisma but you know by the time you're here you think you're gonna... i'm talking about joe i'm talking about him <laughs> do your sports and anger again come on you have just been at this <laughs> andy is such a trooper you should see him out there everybody's watching him none of the girls are talking i'm beat you said five minutes i've been out there an hour I'm down to my smart material, and I don't like working blue. <laughs> the girls are starting to talk to each other. Matt, Matt, you take Coco. Lou, you take the Lisas. Andy? I never thought I'd hear myself say this, but go get the silly snot. <laughs> oh, 
Come on in. Give him my little nose. Oh, no, no, oh. you don't get your nose back until we go upstairs. You know what? I can't believe this. I mean, it's my birthday today, and you know every single one of those girls in that black book that I call? They weren't home. This thing stinks, you know that? Oh, no, it's been a great day. Look, look, we're home. Home at last. Me and Joe Roman, home at last. Now, let's just go upstairs. Nope. Nah. I'm gonna park it right here for tonight. This is where I belong. No, 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 you're not. No, we're gonna get you a nice big birthday boy cup of coffee upstairs. Hey, that's a great idea. You know what? I could put it in my Joel cup, huh? Yes. <laughs> hey, sir. Hey, sir. Get a light. everybody <laughs> coco lisa 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 <laughs> you're all here excuse me <laughs> joe is puking in the bathroom he always finds a way to top me <laughs> here take this got me through sorority rush if it tastes like ranch dressing, you're just drinking it too slowly. Claire, I've never seen you drink in your life. What do you know about hangover cures? Oh, I may look like Miss Conservative Mom to you, but I will have you know, in my day, I spent plenty of time with my head hanging. Just drink it. Oh. How do you feel? Oh, let me think. Um... I got stupidly drunk, I acted like an idiot, alienated every girl I've met since I got here. <laughs> On the upside, I did read that the American Standard Toilet Company was founded in 1829. Hey, you also learned not to drink too much. That's a pretty good lesson to learn at 21. Yeah, well, that guy Mickey's a real good teacher. Wow. You worked really hard here, you know that? You know, I am such, I am such an idiot. When people try to do nice things for me on my birthday, I always seem to just screw them up. Is this about your 16th birthday? Oh, it's funny, because I always blame myself for that day. You know, your dad was trying like crazy to get close to you again, and I felt like all I did was kept getting in the way. Come on, Claire. I can see how happy he was. I got jealous, okay? Definitely wasn't your fault. Well, it certainly wasn't yours. Tell was, though. I'm sorry. Oh, you don't have to tell me. Maybe you want to apologize to Lloyd, though. Those were his good shoes. <laughs> hey, Lloyd! Lloyd! Surprise! Surprise! Are you kidding me? I, I don't believe this! You like it, Joe? I like it. Oh, I love it. Um, I always wanted one of these guys. It's been in storage since your 16th birthday. You mean, uh... Yeah, Joe. I bought it for you. <laughs> How to raise the money? Two words. Magic beans. Hey, Dee. Dad bought it for you, Joe. The plan was for him to give it to you on your 16th birthday, and then the two of you would work on it the next week. I had to go leave in early, right? <laughs> so we decided to restore it and give it to you now. You know... Like looking from Dad. Yeah. Well, thank you, guys. This is, this is great. The fake surprise party was my idea. <laughs> I'm sure it was. Whose idea was it inviting all those girls I know, huh? The dweebs. Uh, I love you, dweeb. <laughs> Happy birthday, Joe. Oh, Happy birthday, buddy. Okay, come on, let's go to bed, and we'll let Joe admire his car. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Happy 21, Joe. Thanks, Lloyd. <laughs> guys, uh... Aren't you worried about him trying to drive this thing tonight? Not really. Uh-huh. <laughs> hey! Hey! You got room for one more? Hop in, baby. Hey. <laughs> oh. Cool. Who's this? Oh, yeah, that was in the glove compartment. It's, uh, it's addressed to you. Dear Joe, I'm 
Sorry things got so crazy and you had to leave early. To be honest, when I was your age, I would have done the same thing. I know you've always felt that I walked out on you and I know how hard that is to forgive. I only hope someday you can forgive me and accept Matt and Annie and Claire as part of your family, too. Hope I've got the nerve to mail this. I love you, son. Well. Hey. Wait, there's a, there's a PS on the back. You missed out on your birthday gift, but you'll get it. I promise. Dad. Got it, Dad. Come here. Yes! Yes, that's right. It was all my idea. Joe didn't even know most of those girls. Any of those girls. <laughs> Except you, of course. Right. It was sort of like a birthday prank. So it's okay, right? Great. Yeah, I'm sure Joe will call you. All right. Okay? Call the next one. <laughs> Come on, Joe. I've called, like... Call the next one. <laughs>